afternoon, everyone. How are you doing today? It is Wednesday, July 10th. Hello, how is everybody? I'm vlogging today. This is going to be the start of a new vlog. Please do not mind my hair. Hopefully you like it. <laughs> I decided I was going to treat myself um, today because I had a lot of work to do today and one of them was washing my hair. So I needed to wash my hair really bad, but I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to do it today. So I called my hair girl and I was like, hey, do you have like an opening for a blowout? And she did. I booked her and I went to go for a blowout. Her hair was crimped also today and that's what gave me the inspiration to have her crimp my hair and this is what it came out like i like the idea of it but i look crazy it looks like i have a butt ton of hair like in the camera right now when i'm looking at it it looks really good but in person i feel like i look like Hermione Granger. Maybe it's not that bad. I don't know. But anyways, it looks like I have a lot of hair and I kind of look like one of the witch sisters from Hocus Pocus. Don't mind my hair. I wanted to start this vlog off with a Sephora haul and this is just one bag. I placed two separate Sephora orders. This is the other one and in this box is pretty much all eyeshadow and then in the other bag is like other stuff. I actually did forget one of the palettes upstairs because I used it today. It's a Pat McGrath palette. Basically, I have gotten reinvigorated when it comes to makeup, you guys. I have become really obsessed with makeup again. You guys know if you've been here for a long time or if you've watched this channel for a long time, I used to be a makeup channel. I used to do all things makeup, tutorials, reviews, all that good stuff, but then I kind of, it wasn't really going anywhere. <laughs> so I kind of pivoted and I ended up doing like other stuff like lifestyle to, you know, how the channel is now. I have just kind of refound my love for makeup. So I've been like doing my makeup every day which I haven't been doing like for the past few years I've like barely done my makeup and it's only when I film do I do my makeup but now I'm trying to do it like every day because I'm trying to film more I'm trying to like really do social media to the best of my possible ability I've been posting on TikTok every single day three times a day I've been trying to post on YouTube like every like at least three times a week so I wanted to do this haul with you guys so I could show you the things that I got pretty much everything I got was from Pat McGrath because she was my favorite eyeshadow maker when I did makeup a lot. This being one of them, this is a little quad and this is the Ritualistic Rose. Yeah, it's the Blitz Astral Quad. I'm just so happy that they had all of these in stock and that none of them were like limited edition or anything. But here's this one. This one's one of my favorites because it has that one at the, me holding it like this, it's gonna look like the one on the, one on the bottom right. Well, now it's the top right. But yeah, that one, insane. Like, it doesn't really look like much right now. Just in the light, it doesn't look like much. But let me tell you, that shade is just beautiful. And then I got this one. I think I'm going to return this one, actually. This one is called the Lux Eyeshadow Quad. I don't think this is the same as the Blitz Astral Quad. I just don't think it's the same type of pigmentation. But the packaging is super cute. This one's pink. The shades just do nothing for me. None of them are super sparkly or anything like that. They're just very basic and boring. So I think I'm gonna send this one back. There's like no point in keeping these if I'm not going to wear them because Pat McGrath is super expensive. I got one of my favorite palettes back. This is one of my all time favorite palettes. Here is the packaging. It looks like that on the inside. The reason why I love this one so much, this was the bronze seduction, I think. And one of the reasons why I like this one this much are because of those last two shades. Those last two shades are just insane. One of my favorite palettes, definitely happy to have this one back in my collection. And then I got this palette. This is another one of my favorite palettes. And this one is the Utopian Dream. The reason I love this palette so much is because of, again, the last two shades, look at that purple, like bluey purple. On the top, there's like a beautiful kind of gold, kind of metallic shade. I'm gonna go grab the final palette because yes, I bought another one. Listen, I know that this is a lot of freaking money on makeup, but again, I just did not have anything. Everything that I 
have in this bag most likely is going to be returned except for like two things that I know I'm going to keep, but the rest of it's going to go back. But I am going to keep the palettes because I know that I'm going to use them all the time and I need to just replenish my eyeshadow. I did not realize that I was not filming in 4K this whole time. I'm so sorry. So yeah, and now I'm filming in 4K. Oh my God, I can't believe that. So this one did come a little bit messed up. However, it's okay, because I was able to get it put back in its thing. Now I just don't wanna make it fall, but you can kind of see. I know you can't really see like all the shininess, but it's really nice. That's actually what I have in my eyes today. Hopefully you can see that, <laughs> probably not. Um, all right, in this bag, we've got um, this brush. I wanted to get this brush because I need to figure out how to properly do my bronzer. <laughs> Guys, no matter what I do, my bronzer just ends up looking like a stripe on my face. So I ended up getting this brush right here. This is from Patrick Ta, yeah. It looks like that. It's got two ends. One is like a smaller end and then one is a bigger end. And today I actually used this for my cream bronzer. I don't know if you're supposed to use this with cream product, but I did anyways. And I used it today. Does it look good? I honestly have no idea because I just feel like bronzer just does not work for me ever. It's just weird. But I tried this brush, hopefully I end up liking it. I do think that I'm gonna keep this because I just need another brush. So I got a couple of lip liners. These are going back because I hate both shades. They literally look the same. Like, I don't understand how they look the same, but these are both from Rare Beauty and it is the lip liner. And this first one is in the shade Lively. They both just look really bad on my skin tone. It kind of just washes me out. It's not the brand's fault or anything, but it is kind of frustrating that they look the exact same. Like, yeah, here's the other one. And this one is in the shade fun. Yeah, look, I think, well, maybe they're too similar. I thought they were different, but one is more like peachy and the other one is a little more brown. Here's that one, but yeah. So I got these lip liners and then I got lipsticks to match. Pretty much gonna be sending all of this back because uh, I don't like the colors. Oh, I got this and I am gonna be keeping this because I needed another, well, I didn't need it. I wanted to try it to be honest, but this is a concealer brush because I see a lot of people doing their makeup and they have like a really small concealer brush like this. I have a big one that's actually used for foundation, but I think it'd be nice if I were to like actually have a proper concealer brush, it'd be nice. This one is from Hourglass. And then this right here, I don't know if I'm keeping this or not, it just depends. This is from Briogeo, it is the Style Plus Treat Yuzu Plus Plum Oil Sleek Stick. So basically it is like a stick, not a wax stick, but kinda the same situation to where you do it like this through your hair whenever you wanna do like a sleeked back bun or ponytail. Here's what this looks like. The packaging is very bright and fun. Next, I am gonna keep this, I think. I'm gonna try it a couple more times because I did use a lot of this stuff today when I, when I did my makeup. But this is from Laura Mercier. I have bought this and returned this so many times and then I forget like a year down the line, I'll be like, oh, I could use a powder and then I buy it again. And I'm like, why do I keep buying the same thing and forgetting that I've bought it. So yeah, this is from Laura Mercier. It is basically just like a powder, translucent, loose setting powder. I just needed one for under my eyes because I was using the Pat McGrath setting powder, but I am literally out of it. Legit, I cannot believe I used up an entire setting powder, kind of like compact. I only really set under my eyes. I don't set my whole face because I would end up looking like a scab because my face is so dry. <laughs> So yeah, here's what this looks like. You've probably seen this, but yeah, I'm gonna give this another go uh, again and see if I end up liking it better. This is another thing that I'm not taking back. I love this. This is from Tower 28. It is like the facial spray. I spray this on my face every day before I put makeup on, like before I put primer on and stuff, I spray this on and I really like it. I think it kind of like hydrates my skin. Just makes it look nicer, so I really enjoy that. Got Those it. are all the things that I got at Sephora, guys. Let me know in the comments if you have used any of these products that I show today. I am starving, so I think I'm gonna go eat something. I think I'll just make dinner. I'm gonna go. I hope you enjoyed my little Ulta haul, or not Ulta, Sephora haul, and then I'll come back to you when something else fun happens.
okay hi hello i have a grocery haul i actually got groceries delivered today i don't tend to do that a lot i try not to because it's like really expensive but raf has a ton of work to do today i think he's filming like six videos today it's insane that man is just a force to be reckoned with let me tell you and then i'm gonna be pretty much editing a lot of those videos because we want to get those out really soon so my day is gonna be full with editing and then i'm making my tiktoks and stuff like that so decided that i would order stuff today so i'm gonna show you a little Publix haul. I'll show you like this today because I feel like this might be a little bit easier. But Raph has been wanting to get some like different drinks other than Diet Coke. So I found these Dr. Pepper strawberries and cream zero sugar love that cannot wait to try that and then diet Mountain Dew of course regular diet Dr. Pepper and then Pepsi cherry zero sugar so we got those and then we got two things of milk we got okay so i thought that it would just be easier if i took everything out and then just showed you the haul this way so we've got bananas some prosciutto and genoa salami so raf can make his sandwiches we also got bread over there this is a little piece of salmon and then i got two things of milk because me and raf both use milk for like coffees and stuff got some more of these sugar bombs these are so good i got this salad kit it's a sweet kale salad kit. And then I've got some mozzarella over there and spring mix for sandwiches. And then I also got some Italian blend salad and then some just veggies. So it's got broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots in there. And you can just steam that. And then I got some cheese, little baby bells, some pineapple. Pineapple is like my favorite fruit. I love pineapple. And then I did go ahead and get a couple more olipops and uh, poppies just to have some creamer for Raph for his coffee. I got one little frozen meal. I like these, the Devour ones. They're a white cheddar mac and cheese. They're pretty good. And then these right here are like a new find that we've become obsessed with. They're so, so good. It's just bean and cheese burritos, but they're really good. Got some more bagels. And then these are my favorite Pringles. I love these. I have them like on, on a Pringles kick right now. So I got two of those. I got some new treats for the dogs and then raf has been wanting these twix ice cream bars so i got that that is my grocery haul now i'm gonna go put all this stuff away Hello everyone, it's a few days later. Today is Wednesday, July 17th. I wanted to show you a couple of things that I received. One of, okay, the biggest thing is I really desperately needed a new vanity setup because the vanity desk that I had was from my mother's mother. So it has been around for like, 60 years a long time it's been a minute and it was basically just falling apart it was not working anymore it looked awful and it was just kind of coming apart so the wood was really bad and kind of rotten so finally ended up getting a new vanity setup i got it from wayfair and then i got a cute little you know few bits and bobs from like amazon stuff like that because i wanted to get something that was pretty but like i didn't want to get something like crazy expensive from like west elm or cb2 or anything like that so i wanted to show you my cute little vanity setup here so here is the room i'm not even sure if any of you have seen our new tv we did get a new tv for the bedroom it's a samsung something i'm not actually sure but it's amazing and we had our friend come by and mount it on the wall it just looks so much better being mounted on the wall i ended up moving the chair that was in my office in here this was the chair that i used to sit on to film but since I got that big reading chair of course this doesn't have any room so I brought it in here here is the new vanity setup it's really cute I really like 
how it looks. And I've got a really pretty olive tree over here just to kind of break up the space so there wouldn't be just a giant hole on the right side. But look how cute it is. And they actually came with silver knobs and I changed them out for gold. I just got some on Amazon. The planter I actually did get from Pottery Barn because I thought it was so cute. But I love the olive tree. This is like a mid-century modern vanity. It came with the little stool. But then if I move this, this part lifts up. So it could be like that and it has a lot of storage. I love the amount of storage that it has. But yeah, that's how it could be as well. But I just keep it down and I have my little mirror. I got the mirror, I got these little cups here from Amazon as well as the plant I got from Amazon as well. It's a fake olive tree, obviously, but I just love this little setup and I, always, and I moved it into the corner of the room because before the vanity was like here. So I put the two crates here for the dogs for the time being. Eventually, I really wanna get one of their like Fable crates. It's a brand that does really aesthetic dog crates and I feel like it would just look so much better than, you know, just w these. <laughs> but I think it looks really nice and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So there's that. I just brought you back downstairs because I wanted to show you a couple things that I got in the mail. Listen, I know last vlog was basically just like a collective haul <laughs> of things that I've got in the mail recently. I wanted to show you a couple that I actually got in the mail. So starting with off with this one. This one is because I became obsessed with trying to find a camo zip up hoodie, okay? I became just enthralled with the idea of trying to find a camo zip up hoodie. And there was one from this brand called Akimbo. Released a while ago, I had no idea they existed. So of course I wasn't able to get the hoodie. I kept seeing it around on like secondhand places and they were selling them for like double the price. I mean, this is a really expensive hoodie. It's like $160 to begin with. And people were selling them for like 300 bucks. Could not find a camo zip up hoodie from Akimbo. I did follow Akimbo on Instagram and I realized that they were coming out with this collection. It's a leopard collection and I'm obsessed with this. I got this one in a size medium. I have been really liking zip ups in particular recently because I just feel like they're so slouchy and like off the shoulder like this and I just think they're so cozy. I really like the fit of this hoodie and here's the back and of course i have it very slouchy i have it off the shoulder if you wanted it to be like a normal hoodie like i guess how you're supposed to wear it it would be more like this so it just depends on how you like it and i do hope they're able to restock the camo zip up hoodie but i did find something from akimbo in the camo that I did buy secondhand because it was like one of the lowest priced ones out there that I could find and I was like just drooling over the <laughs> camo one. So I got this one from Depop. Not a zip up hoodie, just a regular one, but it is from Akimbo and this one's in a size large. I went for this one because I was like, look, I'm not gonna be able to find anything except for a large and extra large. Like mediums just did not exist for some reason on the resale market. So I was able to find this large one, Akimbo, right there. And I love this also, hold on, I gotta, I gotta put it on for you. It's like, they're so like thick. Now this one is again in a large. So normally I would probably get a medium in these because I just think the medium will look better. I'm pretty much just gonna wear this around the house anyways. But here's what the large looks like. Again, it's not like super long. I thought it was gonna be like down to my thigh or something, but it's not. I think it's still really cute. And then another one that I'm super excited about is actually, I bought this from TikTok shop, okay? I normally don't buy things from TikTok shop, but this I could tell it was an actual brand, B2BD. So I think it stands for Born To Be Different. And they have these hoodies. Oh my God, these are the best. I love this hoodie. It is so thick, it's so soft. But here is what it looks like on the front. I got mine in black. They have it in gray and then also in like this beige color. I got a large. If I ever get another one of these, I will probably get a medium. Cause this one is long and the hood, 
the hood is just so good. So here's what this looks like. Again, it is pretty long, if you can see that, but I usually just kind of go like that and hike it up a little bit, but you haven't even seen the best part of this hoodie. Are you kidding? If you can tell, it says child of God, really, really big on the back, and I am obsessed with that. If you don't know, I am Christian, but I think it looks so cool, like really big on the back, kind of like street wear kind of thing, but I love it. And then I think the next one I'm gonna get is gonna be like the gray one. Maybe I'll get that one next month or something. Again, I don't need any more hoodies, but I keep buying them because I'm obsessed. I'm gonna put on my leopard print one again. Oh, and then on the leopard print one, it looks like that on the inside. They're really soft on the inside. And the hood on the akimbo is also really nice. That's what I wanted to show you. Anyways, I'm gonna go eat lunch now because it's like almost one, I'm starving. So I'm gonna go make lunch and I'll come back when something else fun happens. Hello, good morning everyone. How are you doing today? It is a couple days later. Well, yeah, a couple days later. So I wanted to actually show you guys, I wanted to do a little unboxing because I have actually already done this unboxing on like a main video. So unfortunately I was not able to show the vlog this piece first, like I normally like to. So I wanted to actually unbox these with you guys as well. If you've not seen the full sit down video, I will link it below for you so you can check that out. I do apologize, it's taken me so long to show this to the vlog, but here we are. This is my Chanel unboxing. This is from the 24A collection. You can probably already know, like you probably already know what it is, but I'm not going to waste any time opening these up. Oh my God. In the front, these are all just receipts. And like here is the little, Chanel booklet, and then Oh my god! Guys, there's shoes. Of course, you probably, again, already knew this. I really wanted to show the vlog as well because I'm obsessed with these. I've already been wearing them. I love them. Of course, they each come in their own little dust bag. Are you seeing this right now, guys? This literally matches my caramel classic flap like perfectly. I'm actually not sure if it's the same color. It could very well just be the same color, but I am obsessed. These are of course loafers. I have already worn them. Look at the bottom. This one's called like a crinkled lambskin, I think. But yeah, guys, I am obsessed i've never had a chanel do i do i have any chanel ready to wear i don't think so is this considered ready to wear it might not even be considered ready to wear but i have never had chanel shoes i've never had like a chanel top or jacket or anything like that and i'm just so excited that i get to add these babies to my collection these are 1 million percent going with me to Italy in October. Are you joking? I'm gonna wear these every single day in Italy. It's gonna be amazing. But I have already worn them. I worn them with like a pair of my linen shorts the other day and they were so cute. I did not wear them with socks, obviously. Um, but I know you can wear socks with them. I got these in a 38 and a half as well and they do fit very, very good. So excited about them. I can't wait to start really wearing these and like wearing them during fall. It is so close to being August, you guys. Like it is July 22nd as I'm filming this. I want August so badly, because even though I know that August is still considered summer, in my head, August is like the start of fall, okay? Like I know a lot of people are gonna be like, no, September is the start of fall, and no, August is too soon. Let me have this. I could not give two shits about summer. I don't like summer. I never really have. I just think it's way too hot, but I don't care about summer. I like spring more than summer, but I am so excited for fall. So whenever August rolls around, I start getting out my fall attire. I start using my fall mugs and fall cups and like coffee glasses and everything. I start getting out all my fall shit, like T minus like 12 more days. When is August 1st? Yeah, literally next Thursday is my time to shine. That's when I'm going to be the most happy. I'm gonna go for now. That's what I wanted to show you, my little Chanel unboxing. I'm gonna go and then I'll let you know when something else fun happens.